everyone. Page 27, New Guide Note, Base C. So really, in the piece before, they were discovering that this is a new note, which is called Base C. So right now, I am giving them the definition of that particular new guide note. So they notice, though, that uh, the F at the top of the page, their guide note F, they actually have to count four keys down to get to their new guide note of base C. So we want the students to remember where this C sits and on that second space. Practice steps, tap and count out loud, circle the base C's. We can ask how many are there? Hmm. There's one in measure five and one at the very last measure. Plan the dynamics before you begin. So I'm going to play both parts together. If we're playing in a beautiful duet together, both the teacher and the student have to come off at the same time. And you'll see lots of videos where I'm demonstrating the beautiful ensemble techniques of the pieces in Succeeding at the Piano on the SATP video website. So please be sure to check those out. So let's see. Why don't we go ahead and turn to page 28. Here we have a time to compose activity, make up a piece using guide note base C's, and then there's matching time. So all of those, um, all of those little exercises have a base C in them. Ode to Joy is on page 29. I was telling one of my young students all about the Ninth Symphony of Beethoven and how uh, the last movement is, has the full orchestra and the chorus singing about how important it is for humankind, mankind, to love one another and support one another. And it was really cute because he came back to the next lesson and he said, I listened to Ode to Joy. And he said, at the very end of this piece, you can sing, all mankind. And I said, you're so right. Of course, every child loves to play Ode to Joy. Here we have bass C position in the left hand, middle C position in the right hand. information about the composers up on the top of the page so that our students learn about these fabulous composers. And let's see, there's one other thing that I wanted to talk to you about with this piece. Oh yes, if a student plays this piece with the rhythm that is actually in the original Ode to Joy, make sure that the student is aware that what they are playing, the rhythm of what they're playing, is actually what's in the orchestral score, but it's not what is written on this page, right? Okay, so now let's turn to page 30. Oh, you know what? The musicality girl on page 29, she says, have you tried to play smoothly? Your teacher will help you. And I do have to say that this is actually a really good time to see if your students can play five finger patterns. So we start with just a basic C major five finger pattern. If they could play the first, the third, and the fifth notes to create a broken triad and then a block triad afterwards, that's really super good. So right around this stage is where we start teaching our students five finger patterns. There's an entire series on five finger patterns and, and scales. As you know, play your scales and chords every day. And the preparatory level, or is it grade one? I think it's book one, where it has all the five finger patterns through it. So if the student can't play them legato, then wait until the next level. 